Hey guys, it's Kay. So I found this on Radar.com and seems to have come out today. Colorado killer dad's mistress makes chilling revelation. He tried to choke me. And there's a reason that I'm going to be reading this article. Viewer discretion is advised. I don't normally talk about these types of subjects, but I feel um, since I've been researching this case that it is relevant and it needs to be talked about. Chris Watts liked animalistic, rough sex and tried to strangle his mistress during sex. Radar online. Online.com revealed that's the chilling revelation of the accused murderer's former lover, a brunette, brunette stylist. According to the mistress, the reviled creep who is charged with murdering his pregnant wife and two young daughters solicited dates on the app Tinder, which he used to hook up with her. The woman whose name Radar is withholding is in her 30s and bears a striking resemblance to Shannon Watts. So, I'm not going to read the whole article. I will leave links in the description. Um, she did say that he would put his hands on her throat during intercourse. And she said now that she knows who he is, it gives her the chills. And she can't even think about it. She said as soon as he tried choking her out... It turned very weird and awkward for her. He seemed normal at first. He didn't strike her as violent or strange. She said initially she didn't mind because she wasn't really looking for a serious relationship. But any hint of that romance fizzled out whenever he tried using her for sex and then she dropped him. So, um, she also stated that from the start, he started lying, and the Tinder app that he used, the avatar, the picture, was not even the same guy. So, right from the start, he was lying. So, I'm sorry, but if I would have met him in person, seeing that he had a different photo, that would have told me a whole lot right there, and I would not have... Um, went any further with the relationship and that's just my opinion but you know I can't speak for her uh, this source has been confirmed through RadarOnline.com okay now this is the picture that I was talking about showing you this picture is from Shanann's Facebook, dated June 25th, 2018. Now, they were actually on a cruise. It was just him and her, no kids, from what I gathered. And I noticed her neck on this picture. Now, it kind of matches along the lines of the article that I just read. And I thought, well, you know, maybe it could have been a burn mark from like a curling iron, but... Her hair is more like a flat type hair. I don't think it really holds curl that well. So I really don't think it was that. And it stayed quite a long time. Um, from And I gathered that from looking at other pictures. And if you look at the shirt that she's wearing, it's like a mock turtleneck. So I think she really tried covering it up. Now, it looks like a burn rope mark. Um yeah or you know being strangled possibly you know what same thing what the article said but I noticed that and I thought it was very suspicious when I seen it now I saw this picture before I even knew about this article uh, the next picture that I'm going to bring to you is one that I've showed you before and it's just, I wanted to reiterate what I thought because before on the previous video that I thought it, I said I thought it was a scratch. 
Now, I've thought about this, and, you know, I could be wrong. I hope that I'm wrong, but it looks to me like a... Uh, okay, let's just say it. It looks like a small bite mark. I know I had stated before it looked like a scratch, but the more and more I look at this photo, the more and more I think it is a small bite mark by a small mouth. And trust me, I don't like talking about this stuff either, but it, it seems really fresh, it's really red, and from the date that this interview was taken on August 15th, it would have been one to two days prior. Who knows exactly when, you know, that happened with the children. And this is such a sad, sad story. So, I wanted to also bring up, I am wondering if this man was on testosterone injections. He seemed to lose a lot of weight fairly quickly and he also worked out but he's very muscular where he did lose his weight and I do know that testosterone injections just from other crimes and stuff that have happened where the father kills the whole family and then himself they have been on testosterone injections before, so the police may want to, and I'm sure they are, I'm sure they're doing their job, but they may want to look into that. I also wondered, he was on that burn patch with the Thrive Company, and I was watching a video earlier, and with Shanann being pregnant, she was not able to be on that burn patch. Who knows what the side effects are to those weight loss patches and maybe that in conjunction with other medications who knows what medications he was on um, caused him to react and snap okay so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and cut this um, episode short my computer ended up messing up so I didn't get the full narration so anyways, you all have a blessed day. Thanks for listening. Please leave your comments below. Much love and God bless.